everything is theoretically impossible until it is done hello students today we are going to learn about more concept concept let's observe the equation it is a reaction of hydrogen with oxygen to form water that is 2h2 plus o2 gives 2h2 so this reaction or this equation indicates that two molecules of hydrogen react with one molecule of oxygen and forms two molecules of water or in another way if you are calculating the mass that means if you are calculating the molecular mass we know what is the molecular mass of hydrogen it is 2 and there are two molecules of hydrogen are there that means 2 into 2 4 units in another way we can say that in terms of mass so it says that 4 atomic mass unit of hydrogen combines with 32 atomic mass unit of oxygen and form 36 atomic mass unit of water how it came because we know atomic mass of hydrogen is 1 so molecular mass of hydrogen is 2 because molecule of hydrogen is formed by 2 or uh, 2 hydrogen atoms so like that 2 hydrogen molecules are there so 2 into 2, 4. And we know atomic mass of oxygen is 16. So there are two oxygen atoms. Uh, so oxygen atoms are there in the molecule. So 2 into 16, 32. And H2O. It forms H2O. That means 2 into H2O. It is 2 into 18. We are getting 36. We said that mole is a quantity what is one mole or how much is one mole one mole of any species any species means it can be ions atoms or molecules so one mole of any species is the quantity in number having a mass equal to its atomic or molecular mass in grams so if you have taken Atomic mass in atomic mass of an atom in gram or molecular mass of a, a molecule in gram. So that contains a particular number of atoms or molecules. That is known as mole. The number of particles that is atoms, molecules, or ions present in one mole of a substance is fixable. So whatever the substance, if you have taken one mole, that contains a definite number of particles. How many particles it will be there? The number is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. That number is constant. So this number, that means 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 is known as Avogadro number or Avogadro constant. 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 is known as Avogadro constant or Avogadro number. That name it has been given on the honor of Amidio Avogadro, an Italian scientist. Due to, his, due to the respect of that scientist, the name has been given as Avogadro number or Avogadro constant. Don't forget its value 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Whatever the substance we have, if we take that number, it will be same. For example, if you take a dozen of bundles, there will be 12 bundles. Or if you have taken a dozen of bottles, there will be 12. Or if you have taken a dozen of eggs, there will be 12 eggs. In the same way, mod is a quantity. That is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. Whatever the substance we can take, it will be 6.022 into 10 to the power 23. The mass of one mole of a substance is equal to its 
relative atomic mass or molecular mass in grams so we know the atomic mass of one element it it is expressed in the unit atomic mass unit and to get the mass of one mole of an element how can we find out or to get the mass of one mole of an element it is easy just change the unit u to gram so we can say that if the atomic mass is expressed in gram it is known as molar atomic mass it is known as molar atomic mass it is also known as gram atomic mass in two ways we can say that molar atomic mass or gram atomic mass it is very easy it is the same relative atomic mass but the unit will be in grams so this sentence or these things it says that if you have taken one mole of any substance that mass will be equal to its relative atomic mass in gram or if you have taken a substance in its relative atomic mass that contains avogadro number of molecules that means it contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of atoms for example atomic mass of hydrogen is one atomic mass unit one u so if we want to get its gram atomic mass or molar atomic mass we can what will be the molar atomic mass of hydrogen it will be 1 gram just we change the unit to means unified mass to gram so we are getting 1 gram so that is the gram atomic mass of hydrogen and if we want to find out the a gram atomic mass of oxygen we know atomic mass of oxygen is 16 amu so or 16 atomic mass unit what will be the molar atomic mass of oxygen yeah it is 16 gram so unit will be gram and one more thing you have to note that if you have taken 16 grams of oxygen it contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms it contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of oxygen and if you have taken 1 gram of hydrogen it contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 atoms of hydrogen in the same way if you want to find out the gram molecular mass or molar mass of a molecule the things are same just you take the numerical value and change the unit change the unit to gram there we are getting the molar mass of a molecule or gram molecular mass so let's take the example of water we know molecular mass of water is 18 unit we know 2 into 1 plus 1 into 16 is equal to 2 plus 16 is equal to 18 units that is the molecular mass of water and if we want to find out the gram molecular mass or molecular mass of the molecule in gram just we have to write 18 and change the unit as gram we are getting 18 gram so here 18 if you have taken 18 gram of water that contains 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 molecules of water so it says that one mole one mole is equal to 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 is equal to its relative mass if it is molecule gram molecular mass or if it is an atom gram atomic mass the weight mole was introduced by wilhelm ostwald it was derived from the latin weight moles meaning 
ही और पाई सो नाउ लेट्स गो थ्रू सम न्यूमरिकल्स Here is our first question. Calculate the number of moles for the following. In the this question contains two parts, and first part it says fifty-two gram of helium, and second part it says twelve point zero four four into ten to the power twenty-three number of helium atoms. So in both the cases. it was asked to find out the number of moles in the first case mass is given and in the second case number of atoms have been given so let's solve them so this is the first question we are solving in this topic that means mole concept so let us learn some common points to solve the questions first one number of moles can be represented by the letter small letter n and the given mass can be denoted by the letter small letter m molar mass can be represented by the letter capital letter m and the given number of particles can be represented by the letter capital letter n and avogadro number of particles avogadro number of particles can be represented by the letter, uh, symbol n a so these are the basic things you should know and here we are going to solve the first part of the question that means 52 gram of helium let's see how many particles how many moles are present in 52 gram of helium so there is a formula to find out the number of moles that formula is number of moles is equal to given mass divided by molar mass if we are using the symbols let's write like this small letter n is equal to small letter small letter m divided by capital letter m that means given mass is 52 and molar mass of helium is 4 so let's write it as 52 divided by 4 is equal to 13 so that is the answer that means 13 moles are present in 52 grams of helium now let's go to the second part of our question that is 12.044 into 10 to the power 23 number of helium atoms so here also there is an there is a formula to find out the number of moles what is that formula here earlier also earlier in the previous question we have learned a formula but that was the formula to find out the moles from the mass now we are learning the formula to find out the number of moles from the particles so that formula is number uh, number of moles is equal to given number of particles divided by avogadro number if you are using the symbols let's write it as small letter n is equal to capital letter n divided by n a that is equal to 12.044 into 10 to the power 23 divided by 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 when we simplify we get the answer as 2 so let's say that uh, there are two moles present in 12.044 into 10 to the power 23 number of helium atoms here is our second question it says that calculate the mass of the following so in this question calculate the mass of the following that question contains four sub divisions first part 0.5 mole of nitrogen gas so previously we have learned an equation to find out the number of moles that equation was like this number of moles is equal to given mass divided by molar mass so we can rearrange the equation then we will get the equation to find out the mass so how is that uh, just we can cross multiply it then we will get mass is equal to number of moles into molar mass that's the equation we have to use here uh, molar mass of nitrogen gas it is given into gas that means nitrogen gas molar mass of nitrogen gas we know or molar mass of nitrogen molecule we know it is 28 So twenty-eight into number of moles. It is clearly given in the question zero point five mole. So molar mass into number of moles. That gives the mass. That means twenty-eight into zero point five is equal to fourteen gram. 
14 gram is the mass of 0.5 mole of nitrogen gas and second part 0.5 mole of nitrogen atoms so the formula same formula we can use that is mass is equal to molar mass into number of moles that is equal to m into n is equal to what is the molar mass of nitrogen as it is nitrogen atom it is 14 gram so 14 into 0 0.5 is equal to 7 gram and let us go to the third third part and in this question third and fourth part we have to find out the mass but uh, that should be based on the number of particles and Avogadro number so the number of moles if you want to find out the number of moles we know the equation given num given number of particles divided by Avogadro number that is equal to n divided by n if you are using the formula we can write it as uh, small letter n is equal to n divided by n so what is the given number of particles 3.011 into 10 to the power 23 and what is Avogadro number 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 then we will get the answer as 0 0.5 so it contains 0 0.5 moles now we can find out the uh, mass what is the formula to find out the mass mass is equal to molar mass into number of moles that means mole letter n into capital letter m that is 14 into 0 0.5 is equal to 7 gram 7 gram is mass and let us see the fourth question 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 number of nitrogen gas means nitrogen molecule what will be its mass let us find out we know the formula to find out the number of mass uh, we know the formula to find out the mass that is molar mass into number of moles here we have to find out the number of moles by using the formula n by n a that means capital letter n divided by capital letter n a so the particle is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 and our gutter number also 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 so by simplifying it we will get the answer 1 so as per the formula mass is equal to molar mass into number of moles molar mass we know molar mass is 28 and uh, molar mass is 28 and a number of moles is 1 so we are getting the answer as 28 gram for the better experience i suggest you to refer ncrt test book page number 41 and 42 hope you have understood the lesson and numericals and Try to practice maximum number of questions from your textbook before you get the note, before you get the notes of this lesson. Thank you.